welcome back to the channel guys and today I've got another Marvel Legends multi-pack review this time I've got the shield three pack which includes Sharon Carter, Doom Doom Duggan and two versions of Nick Fury I was always going to get this now I could have picked it up a week earlier but the funds were kind of low so I got it this week and yeah these guys look awesome there's so much accessories and so many different heads and things there's going to be a lot of fun with this figure pack I guess so you've got a brand new Sharon Carter, you've got Nick Fury Jr. and of course the Hoff, the Hoff version. And you've got Doom Doom Duggan, who you can probably, you can probably make, mix and match with loads of different heads. I did get the last Shield 2-pack, two, two I think it was. And yeah, so I will have a, a nice little army of Shield agents by the time I finish this review. So yeah, let's check out the box of this brand new 3-pack. So let's check out the box for the Captain America 3-pack. I assume like the Captain America logo is here because this was originally supposed to come out around the original release date of the new Captain America film. But here we are, we still get the figures anyway. So you've got Doom Doom Duggan, Nick Fury Jr. and Sharon Carter. Warning Hazard, Legend Series. Of course, you can see all the figures there in all their glory. On the side, you do get some comic panels for Sharon Carter, Nick Fury and Doom Doom Duggan. And on the back, you get full length pictures of all of them, I like this here with the way they have Nick Fury Jr. and classic Nick Fury in the background. And you've got some Hydra agents in the back of the Doom Doom Duggan picture. And Sharon Carter just looking like. So the same one picture there. Legally is on the bottom. You've got her shield logo on the top. So let's get this, uh, this bunch of guys out of here. So here are the shield pack down off the swing magic and as you can see right in front of them they all come with an array of extra heads and extra weapons and stuff. This is probably the most accessories I've ever seen come with a pack. So let's check, take a look. First at uh, Sharon Carter and she comes with this extra head which is quite nice. Really really good. And she has the long hair there. So let's look at the head that comes on her as well. Very, very, very nice. So she does come with two sets of hands. Two of these, which we are kind of accustomed to. If it would ever focus, there we go. Two of these, which usually comes with the female figures. And two gun holding hands, like so. Two of those. She does come with two different guns as well. Oh, this small, kind of very unimpressive, unpainted gun. And I've seen that before, definitely. And this black one as well, or this grey one as well, sorry. Again, kind of unpainted with a silencer on there. It's just the same as the other one with a silencer. It does come with two smoking gun effects and two fire effects as well, which are really cool. They didn't have to put those in there, but they did. So that's Sharon Carter. And as we move on to Nick Fury, as I said earlier, you can see he comes with two different heads. The old classic Nick Fury, or this kind of Nick Fury Jr., I think they call him. And yeah, so you can take your choice there. He does come with three different pistols. Two of these. Now there is an extra like, clip hanging out of this one, and this one is the same minus the clip and this one as well you'll have definitely seen that pistol in the line before it does come with a knife as well some effect pieces smoking gun stuff they all come with a pair of these uh blaster thingies and he does come with a pointing hand an open hand and two trigger hands and he does come with this machine gun as well which is quite nice. I do like the different colours and stuff. That is really cool. So that's Nick Fury. And last but not least, Doom Doom Duggan. Now I'm sure you can switch around the heads and have two Nick Furies if you want. But this is what I do, this is what I do anyway, the way they are now. He does come with the same weapons. 
the the machine gun, the two pistols, one with the clip hanging out. He doesn't come with the other pistol. He does come with the knife, unless I've lost it. But uh, no, I don't think he does come with the other pistol. Uh, same hands as well. Yeah, pretty much the same stuff as Nick Fury. So yeah, like these guys come with a bunch of accessories. And that is really, really good. Kind of helps towards that big price point that they've come in on. So yeah, I'm quite happy with these guys. So let's check out their height. So let's start out with Nick Fury. And I'm not going to bother doing this guy's height because they're the same body. So Nick Fury is just about six inches and a bit. So pretty standard Marvel Legends size. Again, if you want to put Doom Doom Duggan up there, the hat makes him taller. Other than that, he's the same height. You know, just to get him stand up there in the back, keeping those Hydragoons at bay. So yeah, let's get him out of there. Sharon Carter is just under six inches. So yeah, she's pretty good height as well. We stand her there with Nick Fury, really, really good. These guys are awesome. Um, for a three pack, they work really, really well. Let's now look at articulation and stuff. I'm gonna start with Sharon Carter again, like we did in the, the last one. Just put those down there for a second. She is on a new female body, which I think should be the standard going forward. She also have butterfly joints, biceps, swivels, double jointed elbows, pinless as well. Maybe there could be more articulation here at the the waist. Oh no, that's no, that's the whole thing. She does have an ab crunch down here as well. She can get her into all sorts of articulation as well. Double jointed knees again, pinless. She's got the whole lot really. And of course there is a, a harness here, a holster here for one of the guns. If you want to use it there. And she does have two different heads you can change her out with. Like so. That is the other one like I showed already, which is really, really nice. I do like this one though. This is very secret agency, I think. And it does remind me of Lana from the WWE as well. And maybe Bridget Nielsen from the early 80s movies. So yeah, I like this, this outfit. I think it suits her really, really well. And she, like usually, the women figures were very poor in sets. And it'd have to be the, the crap figure in the set. This doesn't apply here though so onto the shield agent Nick Fury so these bodies are both the same so there's no no point in me reviewing both of them but uh, articulation is pretty good you've got biceps swivels you've got butterfly joints you've got double jointed elbows movable wrists articulation at the abs and at the waist legs go out Double jointed knees, again, knees and elbows both pinless, and rocker joints as well. At the ankles, so you can get him all sorts, and you do have a holster here as well. So all in all, this is a class set. And there's people who would probably buy two because of the different options you have with the different heads. Not me though, one, one was enough, and they were quite expensive. But still, saying that, I will be giving this box set a 9 out of 10 because it's absolutely awesome. There's so much you can do with this set and it's absolutely brilliant. So yeah, I'm very happy with this set. 9 out of 10. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. We'd love to hear it. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.